What's up, YouTube? This is uh, Acid Rain Gaming, formerly known as Scarblade912. And today, I'm going to be giving you guys a guitar tutorial on how to play Brain Damage and Eclipse by Pink Floyd. Um, both of these songs were sort of. Well, they were both on um, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon album. And basically, both songs kind of intertwine. Because at the end of Brain Damage, basically the end of Brain Damage is leading in to the bit, to Eclipse. So they, they intertwine almost perfect, like per perfectly. Just like all the other songs on the album. So um, let's get started. So first, you want to start off with your D chord. And just to note, this whole song, um, until we get to certain points, and I'll let you know what points those are um, as the tutorial goes on. But through most of the song, we'll be using our best strum, so it's... Okay, so we're going to be starting off with our D chord, and it goes just like this. Then we'll be moving on to our G7 chord. And that, um, so just to recap on how to play the D, you put your first finger on the, uh, third, the second fret of the third string, your second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And you just play four strings. So you're gonna do that four times, then you're gonna move to your G7 chord, which looks just like this. That's a G7, right there. And you don't use your pinky. Um, so to play a G7, it'll sound like this. Where the D, the E string, the high E will sound just like that. Instead of sounding like that, it'll sound like that. So to play your G7 chord, take your first finger, put it on the first string of the first fret. Take your second finger, put it on the second fret of the fifth string. Then take your third finger and put it on the third fret of the sixth string. And then it'll sound just like this. So every chord is played for two measures so it's and then after that third time of playing like that third set of playing your D you don't go to the G7, you go to your E major chord. And your E major chord is played by putting your first finger on the uh, third string of the, the first fret of the third string, putting your second finger on the second fret of the fifth string, and putting your third finger on the second fret of the uh, fourth string. And then you play all, all of your strings. Okay? So, we start like this. Then after this, we play the A chord. And that's played by putting your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And this is all in the same fret. This whole chord is just in the second fret. So you put your first finger in the second fret of the fourth string, second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the second fret of the second string. And then you play um, five strings. So then... Remember how I said that each chord has two measures? Well, this is basically a split measure between A, A7, D, and um, A sus, A sus2. So, so we do A, then we move on to A7, which is very simple. You put your first finger on the uh, fourth string of the second fret, then you put your second finger on the second string of the second fret and play five strings. And there's a very slight difference between A and A7, so it's... Then D. Then 
And for D sus two, you just move your middle finger and it just then it goes back to the like what we played before. So it's. to the chorus and that's G It's a split measure between G, B minor 7, E minor, and A minor. So we play G, which you guys should know what, what G is from watching my other video. So it's... Then B minor 7, you basically what you do is you bar five strings, excluding the sixth string, you bar strings 1 through 5 in the second fret, put your middle finger on the second... Um, on the third fret of the second string, then put your third and fourth fingers. Your third finger will go on the third fret of the fourth string, and your fourth finger will go on the third fret of the third string, and you'll play five strings. Then you do E minor. So to play E minor, you put your second finger on the uh, fifth, string, fifth string of the second fret, then you put your first finger on the first fret of the third string, and you play all strings. And then you play E7, like I said before. So it'll be... So, um, then after this last verse, it'll go to, um, like it'll go toward the, it'll be toward the ending of, a, um, brain damage and starting to go into Eclipse. So, these are the last couple of chords until you get to, um, Eclipse. So, this is like the solo, you play... Starts so it goes D. Wait, hold on. So it goes D, D7. Wait, no, all right, sorry, I was playing that wrong. 
When you get up to the transition between D, D7, um, B, and A7, it's just all down strum, so it's... Okay, and um, basically it's all down strums all the way through. So it's D, the whole song is D, D7, B, A7. That's just the whole thing. So. So, um, that was the tutorial on how to play brain damage and then transitioning into Eclipse. Now, what I want to tell you, um, when you're playing brain damage and Eclipse, always play it as one. Now, like, don't stop playing when it goes into Eclipse. Because really, if you think about it, it's all one song. Basically, Dark Side of the Moon, their idea... And they did. They had a really good idea, and that was a really good album. Um, their idea was to make it so that it's like two giant songs. So the beginning of the album was the whole, um, like if you hear Brain Damage and Eclipse, that was all a part of the first big song. Then there was another like big song, like out of many little songs, that was all created together. So um, that's just the explanation of Dark Side of the Moon as a whole. And the tutorial of um, brain damage and eclipse. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope this helps. This is Acid Rain Gaming signing out. Peace.